What is up, everybody? How has your Monday been? Hopefully it's been great. I have had an awesome day today. Um, I am laying in bed right now. I just finished up doing my nightly prayer time. And um, I want to share with you a thought uh, on the topic of um, running your race. I Earlier today, after I got in from work, I sat down and I watched Secretariat, a Disney movie. If you don't know, it's the story about the horse. And uh, if you don't know the story about Secretariat the Horse, then you should really watch the movie. I recommend it. It's really awesome, especially if you love horses. Um, but on back to the phrase running a race, um, there was a, a gentleman, the father of, of this girl, um, who told her, he said, let him run his race. And it got really over me. Like, like the idea of we all have a race in this life that we should run. Um, and I'm going to take this totally biblical. Paul told us that he said, for I have fought the good fight. I've won the race and I have kept the faith. You know, the story about this horse was the fact that he did not hold back on this one race. And he always knew what his what his passion, what his calling was. And I think deep down inside, at some point in our life, we all figure out what we're passionate about and what we love doing. And I think... We should also, in everything we do, just as Proverbs 3 and 5 says, um, commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And I think um, in anything that we do in this life, I think we should understand that if we give it to God and we say, God, we're doing this to honor you because you gave us a chance to um, live this life. So I want to do it to, to glorify you, you know? And I think we do that and it just, it gives us more purpose in life. It gives us much more meaning than just being a day to day thing. Um, it makes it more of an eternal feeling. And so, um, I just want to encourage you to, Know what race you should run and run it well. You know, run it to the best of your ability and you're going to win. There's going to be no losing. The only time you lose is when you just don't even try. And so for me, running a race means doing theater and impacting lives like like helping others um encouraging other christ followers encouraging anybody actually encouraging the human race you know you know fighting against um alternatives to life and, and when i say that i mean um i don't agree with suicide i take a firm stand on that that is I, it, it breaks my heart to hear about that. I also stand against hatred because hatred leads to anger, murder, you know, these things that can be avoided. So um, I feel like my race is to show love, God's love, to show encouragement, to to tell a story through singing and acting and speaking, you know, and in that story, let there be an awesome meaning behind it that someone can take home with them. And anyways, um, run your race and run it well, you know, ne and do not second guess yourself. The enemy tries very hard to second guess us, make us second guess ourselves when we're running this race. And he wants you to know, you can't do this. You're doing it wrong. But God wants you to know, 
He's very well pleased with you if you're doing it. So I encourage you, keep running hard, fight through the endurance, and I hope you run your race because I'm ready to continue running my race. Y'all have a good night. I love you all, and uh, may your week be awesome. See you soon. Mwah.